Silly operator, there isn't a perfect HT. But stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back, guys. Jason, KM4ACK. If you ask my wife, well, I probably have an HT problem, but I'm never going to admit it. However, when something new comes along, well, it's hard for me to pass up. Now, we're not going to be talking about the D75 today, nor will we be talking about the ICOM ID50, although that's coming in a future video. Instead, I want to talk about this inexpensive little Baofeng Mini. Now, the Baofeng has been around forever, it seems like, at least a decade, if not more. So why in the world would I be talking about a Baofeng at this point? Well, what caught my eye about it was the Mini factor of it. This radio is quite a bit smaller than the original Baofeng UV5Rs. And right now, you can buy two of these during big deal days for 35 bucks, And that makes this little guy kind of irresistible. Now, like I said, it's pretty much the same old Baofeng UV5R. However, there are a couple of improvements that I think are worth noting. One of those being the nice, colorful screen that we get on this new mini version. In addition to that, right on the back, we've got USB-C charging. And if it's something you're interested in, it is unlocked right out of the box. Well, at least mine was. So if you want to transmit on GMRS frequencies with this little radio, you can absolutely do so. There's also a much more current looking menu system to this radio, and I found it was fairly easy to program just using the front panel of the radio. However, if you're opposed to that, they also offer an app that you can download for your phone, and that will allow you to program the HT wirelessly with that app. Now, I didn't try that app out because, well, I'm not the biggest fan of putting Chinese software on my phone, and I like to know how to program my HTs from the front panel because I will run into cases where I need to do that and I need to do it on the fly and even pulling out the phone is just going to slow me down. Now, are we going to get spurious emissions out of a radio like this? Well, probably. As much as I hate to admit it because it'd be nice if they could produce a clean radio. And if you're thinking about doing digital with this, well, don't. Baofangs are notorious for being bad at packet radio. So I've tried it with APRS and I've tried it with Winlink. First of all, this thing is really finicky about getting the volume set to the correct level. And even when you do that, it has a hard time hearing different packets coming in. APRS, ah, well, it heard maybe 50% of the uh, packets that a normal APRS radio would hear. And Winlink, I was successful in getting one to go through, but it was almost impossible to get the right audio level set when I was using the Mobilink TNC and the Baofeng Mini. And that was after I'd set the audio levels in the Mobilink app. But it was too cute of a radio to pass up for the price that I got this at. And it's a great radio that you can loan out and not have to worry about it getting destroyed. Now, I will say, don't use the stock antenna that comes with it. It is really, really bad. I have upgraded mine to this Diamond RH519 uh, antenna, and then I've also got the BNC adapter on here so that I get, uh, you know, just a BNC antenna and can quickly swap those antennas around. And this Diamond antenna is pretty much my daily driver if I'm not going to use a signal stick antenna. So is this the perfect HT? Well, that depends on your definition of the perfect HT. If you're looking for something super inexpensive that you don't mind loaning out and possibly getting damaged or lost, the UV5R Mini might be the radio for you. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.